Hello friends, this is Worm, according to the most recent publication of the National Enquirer. And today, I wanted to talk about exotic customization. And no, we're not talking about exotic ornaments. But before we do that, there's a lot of y'all who are not subscribed, so go down there and hit the sub button. There's not a good reason not to. And let's talk about exotic customization. Now, back a long time ago, uh, in Destiny 1, exotics had customization, right? And before somebody gets all up in a in a tizzy here, I am well aware that there are some craftable exotics in game. Things like Dead Man's Tail, um, what's another one? The the pulse rifle from the Seraph thing, um, Osteostriga. Like there are relevant exotics that are customizable. I guess you know you can select your perks. You can, uh, well, you can select perks. You can select some barrels and some stocks. I can't remember exactly what it is all that you can customize, but it is available in game. But in Destiny 1, every single exotic weapon had an element of customization to it beyond just its physical appearance. And mind you, we are not talking about physical appearance today. We're not talking about ornaments. We're talking about mods, uh, perks, and stuff like that. Now, of course, I think that it would be crazy for Bungie to, you know, let us change exotic perks, right? Like, like the only weapon that has ever had exotic perks that you could change, so to speak, was Boolean Gemini, which you could change between uh, one way or another. Those are the name of the two perks. Um, let's see, what's another one? I think that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head, uh, aside from the Kvostov, which the Kvostov back in D1 wasn't really an exotic. It just had the ability to turn into basically every type of weapon you could possibly want. But here we are in Destiny 2, and you look at the you look at Destiny 2 weapons, and it's like they have four perks. They have your barrel, they have your magazine, they have their unique tra uh, your unique trait. And then, you know, maybe they have like a, a stock or something like that. And you don't get to choose anything else. Like, like you know, for example, Necrochasm has Arrowhead Break on it. You don't get another option in that category, right? For Hawkmoon, you don't get another option besides Alloy Magazine. Um, and this is, it's, it's wild to me because in Destiny 1, you had the ability to change these options, right? And if I can remember, I will edit and put up a picture of like what a Destiny 1 exotic uh, you know, looked like what the what the menu looked like, so you could change perks. But for example, Thunderlord, and I, I like Thunderlord in Destiny One. I like it in Destiny Two, but in Destiny One, you had the option to get uh, what was it like a basically a counterbalance mod on it, or you could have a bigger ammo reserve, right? And it allowed players to really customize how they wanted to play with Thunderlord. If you went into PvP, you probably wanted the counterbalance mod, right, so that you'd have less recoil. But if you're in PvE, you were always going with, you know, max ammo reserves or more ammo in the magazine, whichever one it was. I couldn't, I can't exactly remember, but you'd probably go with one of those. And why Bungie moved away from this and moved towards this very, very bland, exotic situation where you have your, your, you know, intrinsic perk, you have your, your, your unique perk, and then you have one barrel option, one magazine option, and maybe a stock option. Like, I, I don't know, like that sounds really, really boring to me. And... I think that it leaves out a lot of potential that you have for customizing between PvE and PvP. Now, it's no secret, not every exotic is completely geared to be, you know, equal in both, right? Last word <clears throat> is not at all a PvP, uh, PvE exotic, right? Just like something like maybe uh, Thunderlord, for example, is not really meant to be a PvP exotic, right? But it doesn't mean that we can't get some additional perks to help improve, you know, very, you know, these weapons in different areas. And I think that one way that Bungie could go about doing this, uh, that would be really fun for everybody, you know, and, and bring the potential to use something in PVE and PVP fairly equally is to introduce just more options in those barrel columns and more options in those magazine columns, right? Like think about like, you know, sweet business, for example, sweet business, you know, you have this, 150 round magazine, uh, you've got explosive bullets, like it's very, very good. The catalyst makes you take less flinch, blah, blah, blah. You could go into PVP, right? And use it in PVP and you get the ricochet rounds on it, right? Increase the range, increase the stability, and it gives the ability for the bullets to bounce off the walls, right? But you go in PVP or PVE, sorry, have a second magazine perk like extended mag for example extended mag which increases your magazine by uh like 15 or 20 percent right well for sweet business 15 or 20 percent is a massive amount 
Like that brings your magazine from like 150 to like 175, 180, something like that. Like I don't exactly know uh, numbers for extended mag stuff like that, but that would be incredibly cool. And that would that would just add another fun factor to exotics to make them feel a little bit more fun because it's no secret exotics don't feel exotic anymore. You know, uh, I asked across did a whole video on that a couple days ago or last week or something like that. But I think this is one way that we could make exotic weapons just feel a little bit better. You know, hey, I've got the last word here. Uh, and, you know, I don't remember the exact perks that last word has on it. But, you know, I can change it now. I can put on accurate rounds. Or I can put on this, this, and this. And maybe Bungie doesn't do this due to balance issues. And they're scared that, like, oh, well, you know, if last word can get, you know, uh, extended barrel and accurate rounds and you know whatever else to increase the range would be too powerful like i i i get that concern i do just maybe don't add those potentially danger dangerous perks onto them you know and i think it would also be cool if we saw some perks similar to what we saw back in destiny 1 right we didn't have uh just barrel and magazine option and then column one and two we had like uh, we had our uh, our barrel option if i'm not mistaken but then in the middle one, it was almost like it was like a magazine slash just weapon performance, you know, increaser, right? In the middle column, you had things like persistence, right? When, you're, when you shot, the, the longer you shot for, the, the more stable the weapon got, which that's now been replaced by a dynamic sway reduction, obviously. But you have things like, uh, what is it? I, I don't remember the, the ammo reserves one that lets you carry more ammo. You had counterbalance, uh, counterbalance mod, which would allow you to, you know, in, increase your your stability or whatever like there was a bunch of perks in that middle column that were really really cool and i think that's one way that bungie could make exotics feel just more exotic right is bringing back some of those no longer do we just have you know uh tack mag and smooth bore or, i don't know or small bore whatever you know in the in the magazine columns but now on exotics we have a another class and this this just tunes weapon performance okay right now you can have the option to carry more ammo in reserves right so then you can stack up your um your reserve mods on your chest and you can put on the additional ammo reserves perk on the weapon then you can carry you know the the true max amount of ammo that you can carry for whatever gun you know or if you don't like the idea of more ammo you can have something that makes the weapon maybe more stable or you know maybe maybe increases uh various stats on the weapon not by a whole lot obviously you know again i think that some exotics would be incredibly busted if they had certain modifiers on them if they were too much but i, I don't see an issue with with doing that and it would bring back you know the exotic feeling and it would of most exotics and it would provide a place to make certain weapons more viable in one type of content or the other right last word for example you can get extended mag on it now uh you can get 12 rounds in the magazine instead of just eight right would that be broken in pvp um i wouldn't say so maybe it would but it'd make it more viable at least in pve you know uh what else I, i'm sorry i can't think of exhaust off the top of my head but yeah i don't know i just think that in destiny one we had a much better level of customization i think also in destiny one in that in that column where you could pick three different perks you had explosive rounds in there too which explosive rounds is of course a perk now and there's a good reason why it's a perk um, but yeah i think that having the ability to just swap between a couple different stat modifiers for weapons you know increase ammo reserves maybe uh, uh increase stability increase recoil direction things like that that just affect one stat not like barrels uh, or magazine options that affect multiple stats but just affect one stat slightly could help exotics feel better and of course it would bring back that customization that destiny once had with his ex with its exotic weapons sorry i can't talk today but yeah i don't know that's that's kind of just what i wanted to th that was a thought i had laying in bed last night you know uh and i miss destiny one i miss the way that exotics were back then and hopefully bungie will take us back to a higher level of customization um it is possible that maybe over time they are planning on allowing every single weapon to be craftable. And here's here's the, the, the thing about craftable weapons. If every weapon was craftable, we wouldn't talk about this, right? Because you have that level of control, like the ability to change your barrel and magazine on a crafted weapon and add in a perk like Dead Man's Tale, you know, you can throw on a rapid hit, for example, like that would be perfectly fine.
Right, but not every weapon has that. I don't see Bungie realistically doing that. Like maybe if they plan on making every single exotic craftable, I think that uh, it's going to come way, way down the road, right? It's going to be something they do to just basically just extend the life of Destiny for as long as possible. But yeah, I don't know. I want to hear your thoughts, though, about exotic customization. How do you feel about having the ability to just add some small bumps through some unique perks to exotic weapons? Like, Do you think that'd be good? Do you think that'd be bad? Let me know your thoughts. All that down in the comments below. Of course... If you like today's video, drop a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe for more daily Destiny content conversation and debates too. And uh, yeah, do me a favor. Watch the videos you see on the end screen because for whatever reason, YouTube thinks you will like them. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see y'all tomorrow.